everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you all about eating and staying healthy, my top tips. So nowadays it can be really hard for many people to try and eat and stay healthy, especially when we go into the supermarket and we're bombarded by packet food and advertising telling us we need to buy it now. Since giving up packet life, I have begun to realize how advertisers can make us feel that we need it. We live in a fast paced world and we need fast food to go with that fast paced world or so it seems. But I actually don't believe this is true. I think with a few simple steps and careful planning and a little bit of time, you can have healthy cooked food on your table at the end of the day. So here are my top tips to eating and staying healthy. Firstly, I sit down with a pad and pen to write a week's menu. So we shop from a Wednesday to a Tuesday. On a Monday night, before we go to the shops on a Tuesday, I will look at the food we have in the fridge and then I will make a list from the menu I have written. We like to shop twice a week when possible. Ted and I will go to the shops on a Tuesday and then we will go to the shops at the weekend as well. It literally takes me 10 to 20 minutes to write a menu and shopping list. I feel writing a menu has a huge part to play in staying healthy. For me, it means getting to dinner time and knowing that we have a meal to eat. It stops us reaching for convenience food or takeaways. The list I will also try to write in the order of the shop shelves we are going to buy the food from. I find it helps me to navigate past any of the convenience food and it stops me from buying anything I don't really need or want. It also stops us from wasting food. I hate waste and I always try to buy food that will be eaten. Ted is with me a lot when I go shopping, so it doesn't always work. Occasionally we will end up in the sweet treat section of the supermarket, but only if he's been a good boy. Now we are staying healthy, I like to utilise our freezer. If we do not have time at the weekend to go shopping, I like to keep frozen vegetables in stock. I find that frozen veg keeps for a long time and it's easy to cook. We also keep frozen fruit in too. Ted loves frozen fruit and it's also great for making smoothies with as well. I also like to buy meat in bulk from our local organic butcher's shop. The meat I buy from the butchers I then store in our freezer. Plus any leftovers that we have I store in the freezer too. So if I make extra of a meal I will store it in a Tupperware box or a resealable bag. Although we tend to eat any leftovers we have for lunch. My husband will take his to work in a Tupperware box and Ted and I will reheat the dinner from the night before. If we have any leftovers at the weekend, we don't tend to eat it the next day. My little family love cheese and pickle sandwiches on a Saturday. Therefore, Friday night's dinner will normally end up in the freezer. That is a meal I will not need to cook. So for me, it's like takeaway night. Another way to make my life simple is to prepare for meals the night before. As we have a lot of vegetarian or vegan dishes during the week, I fill our plates with vegetables. So any peeling, chopping or slicing I need to do, I will prep them the night before and then put them in the fridge. I have bowls with lids, so any onion or chopped vegetable smells are kept to a minimum. Again, you could use Tupperware boxes for the prepared vegetables. Breakfast is another meal I will prepare as much as I can so that in the morning we can just eat and go. I like to soak porridge oats overnight as I find them easier to digest. It's also one less job to do in the morning. Any added ingredients such as cashew nut paste, raw cacao powder and chia seeds I will put in a small bowl with a lid. In the morning all I have to do is add these ingredients to the porridge and cook. The frozen fruit I keep, I add to the porridge as well. Smoothies are a great food too. If we have a busy day, I will prepare my smoothie the night before and then I can just simply eat and go first thing. The porridge I'm making in this video is my chopped cherry one and the smoothie is my chopped cherry smoothie. 
Both of these recipes I will link in the description box below for you. If we are having a slow cooked meal, then I will put all of the vegetables into the slow cooker pot with frozen chicken stock. My chicken stock recipe and video I will link in the description box below for you. I will also put my vegetable stock recipe with it as well. I like to keep chicken or vegetable stock in the freezer, then the night before I put it into the slow cooker to let it defrost overnight. If I already have stock in the fridge, I will put this in with the vegetables instead. That way the food is kept cold and all I have to do is turn the slow cooker on in the morning. It's a fast effective way to get dinner to the table without too much fuss. I would highly recommend investing in a slow cooker. I will leave a link in the description box below of where to buy a slow cooker from. To make my life easier, I've invested in good quality kitchen equipment. We brought a high quality food processor, which means making soups and sauces is so simple. Again, I will leave a link in the description box below for you. If you can afford to buy quality kitchen equipment, I would recommend it. I've made soups and sauces using cheap stick blenders, which do work well, but the food processor has made cooking less labour intensive. It means I can get dinner to the table quickly. Both of the recipes in this video, the tomato and basil soup and the spicy beans, I will leave in the description box below for you too. Finally, I find buying in bulk saves time and you don't always need to go running to the shops every five minutes. We are really lucky in our house to have a pantry and a lot of freezer space. The pantry we brought when we moved into our house has been a great investment. It stores a lot of our dry foods which we buy online. I shop online for all of the foods I can't get in our local farm shop or supermarket or that are cheaper buying in bulk. I have organised our pantry so it's easier to find food. It makes it easier to cook when I can locate ingredients quickly. So that's my top tips for eating and staying healthy. I have written a blog post on this which I will link down below in the description box for you and all of the videos, recipes and products I have mentioned, I will link in the description box below for you too. As a little disclaimer, all of the products I have mentioned, I haven't been sponsored by any of the companies to make this video. I've just really enjoyed using their products. But if you do decide to buy from the links below, I will make a small percentage from that sale, but it won't affect the price of your purchase. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. As always, I love hearing from you and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.